guys, welcome back to my channel. And we're gonna do a room tour. Yeah, the inside of the cabinet sucks. I told you everything here was minimal but very basic. The inside is blue. Very tridor, guys. Very tridor. So here I got my clothes. And this is all my skincare. Oh my god, it's ugly in this video. Oh my god, 
oh my god turn off okay and then more clothes um oh shit that's my trash can i destroyed it when i did my intro lol here are some suitcases syempre i think these are my brothers and yes oh my god exposed i bought jordans during the quarantine oh my god crazy and i also got the yeezy slides speaking of yeezy slides do you guys want me to unbox that because i want to unbox it but i feel like you're not interested in it maybe if i include it in a haul i actually just filled up this third part of the cabinet like just a few days ago that uh, that's empty but yeah it can't fit in the first two cabinets anymore so there it's a mix of pambahay and panglakad doesn't matter anymore i mean we're all in our bahays anyway so there are some polos and that's my huawei tablet I bought a notebook, a huge black notebook. I don't know why. I love notebooks, but I don't use them. What the heck? And these are some books. I I brought this from Manila. These two I bought from Fully Booked when they opened again. I have finished this one. And I super recommend it. Super recommend it. I have spent so many sleepless nights just reading that I just can't stop. So this one, I have not finished this yet. This is The Complete Cosme Comics by Calvino. You guys have asked what the title is when you saw this on my Instagram story and here it is. It seems interesting and I really like unique stories, you know, like not your usual cliche stories i'm all for it close 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 so here's my bed area i mentioned to you guys in my stories i hate the headboard it's such a distraction in my eyes and i just want to saw it off my bed is just all white my comforter is all white my sheets are all white and my pillows are all white. I like everything simple, minimal, one color. If I do get other colors, I'm gonna probably gray or beige for my bedroom and that's about it. So a lot of you guys have been asking also where I get my sheets. I'm gonna answer it again by it's all my mother's fault. No, okay. She's the one buying all these stuff. From what I know, her brown sheets are from SNR. You guys act that too. And these sheets, I'm not sure where it's from, but I'm sure it's just from the department store. Pwede din if you're lucky, the thrift store, man. I don't think it's gross to like buy sheets from the thrift store as long as you clean it. Wash it, man. Just wash off whatever you think is in there. If you're extra paranoid, wash it with hot water. I'm sorry if I didn't answer exactly where she bought it, but I'm pretty sure you can find nice sheets in like the department store and SNR and if you want to buy online. There are a couple like the Sheet Society, etc. But that's international so you have to wait for it a bit longer. So here's an angle I usually don't show in my stories because bruh I, I freaking hate that door that is a door to my bathroom and you know could have been better if it was just white plain white this isn't my real room so it's fine so there's my uh, suitcase that's her shell i got the biggest size and a lot of you guys have been asking though i answered it in my stories also where i got my planner my planner is big. It's almost as big as my 15 inch MacBook Pro. It is from Poketo. Poketo. It's an it's a brand based in LA. 
and I know we're in quarantine and I'll probably not be able to fill this up with anything but not being able to write down is kind of driving me like not good it's driving me semi crazy so this has helped me put a little more structure in my days I want to like accomplish stuff this quarantine and writing stuff on my phone just isn't cutting it I need to I need to write it down I need to have a sense of like I'm planning for something and that's been helping me like stay in control you might think that having a planner is unnecessary now but because you're like you're just at home you're not going anywhere you don't have lunch with friends etc meeting at church etc but like you can put down all the activities you want to do at home there like for example me i am doing this youtube thing again i'm trying to be consistent about it and i'm trying to like form a schedule in my planner that i try my best to follow i put my workout schedule there and it's just so good when I like take it off. Like, yes, kinawa ko yan. Yay, self. Pat on the back. Okay, so the sun is almost down. Let's try to wrap this up by curtains. Nanay ko na naman. My mom is very hands on with our home. Actually, anywhere we stay, she tries to make it as pleasing and as pretty and as livable and as comfortable for us as possible. She's awesome. She's the best. Okay, um, this part of my room, you guys have asked me where I got the mirror, where I got the lamp, what's my speaker, where I got my tumbler, where was this bathe? So this floating table is already here when I got here. It's built in. Can't remove it. My mirror is from Mandawe Home. If you're from the Philippines, I'm sure there's a Mandawe Home near you. They actually have cute stuff. You just have to look. This was around 2,200, something like that. And then my lamp. My lamp is from, like my other mirror here, is from the department store, SM department store. And online, this is probably expensive. Probably gonna get you like around 5,000, 10,000. But I got mine 600 pesos. And it looks literally the same as those expensive ones. So not bad. My speaker. Actually, this is the family speaker. I don't exclusively own this. It's Bose. I forgot what model exactly, but it's Bose. And like all Bose speakers, it sounds amazing. The bass is outstanding. Kinto. It's a Japanese brand, but like my planner, I got it via Poketo. Check out Poketo, they have good stuff over there. Yeah. So here's my room without me committing anything. There's the aircon, there's the towel. I like the white walls. I like the white sheer curtains. I like mirror. I like my big plants. I don't like this door, it's ugly. The floor looks like raw cement, but it's actually just, what's the term? Linoleum. It sucks, but it's okay in photos, so. I have to mention, before I moved in to my current room, this is the room I stayed in. I shared the room with my brothers. This used to be the bed I slept in. And oh my goodness. I was so stressed, you guys. I was so stressed. Look how messy my brothers are. And every day I would like go batshit crazy about their mess. I could not take it. I tried so hard to keep everything neat and clean and they were just leave a trail of mess everywhere they went and if you followed my stories i got so stressed 
that my skin, my body, it broke out. Like at first I thought it was allergies, but apparently it was like a viral disease. But it wasn't contagious and it was sometimes caused by stress. So like I just got rashes and blisters all over my body. It kind of looked like um, psoriasis, something like that. And I was, my mind was okay, but like all my stress manifested through my skin. And I'm so happy I finally decided to like move into that room by myself because oh my god, I keep telling my brothers like over and over and over and over again please 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 maglipit kayo please okay magkalat but it just doesn't stick to them this room is like proof of it of how messy they are so that's it for my room tour you guys i think i've showed you like everything right if you want to ask about my outfit please check out my shopee haul video it's over there i tried it on and I reviewed it over there and I also have links over there so check that out if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment I hope you guys like this very raw room tour please leave a like please subscribe please check out my Instagram and please check out more of my videos and I will see you guys next time <laughs>